Hey everybody, this is Calvin Waite. I trade crypto for a living. I'm not a registered or licensed financial advisor, planner, or broker, so nothing on this channel should be uh, taken as a recommendation to buy or sell. I also trade all of these things, so I probably have a vested interest in there. Um, but there's plenty of entertainment value and lots of education, so this will be awesome. For those of you who didn't know, my uh, subscription channel is live. So look at the link in the description over at CryptoInfluencers.com and you can see how I make all of my trades and what I do and what I think about everything. This channel is for uh, more hypothetical and looking at trends and the other one is for actual trading. So you might be interested in that. In case any of you missed it, my subscription channel is live as of today. I am so excited. There is a lot of stuff that I want to talk to you about and show you. Um, things are pretty brutal today. Today is a pretty ugly day on the markets. So uh, my enthusiasm for the subscription channel is super high, but uh, markets are against us pretty hard today. And uh, anyway, so on the subscription channel, I'm going to start showing you uh, what I'm what I'm doing to kind of deal with some of these things, but it's very very exciting. Um, we will talk about markets and everything, but it's been uh, quite a while that that I've been working towards getting this subscription channel up and running. And kudos to the guys at CryptoInfluencers.com. Those guys have been working hard just for me, trying to get this thing going. So. Uh, I'm really, really grateful for them and the hard work, work that they've done. Uh, that, that platform will get better and better, and we can all agree that YouTube stinks. And it's really nice to have a place where um, uh, Big Brother Google isn't watching everything we do, and um, also, uh, you know, there's not going to be a lot of, uh, uh, what do you call it, censorship or anything else. Those guys at CryptoInfluencers.com know that there's they, there's a, a need for a platform where people can speak freely and talk about things like uh, crypto and other things that the government and everyone else uh, loses their mind over. So it's good. I'm really excited to be able to move over there and support that project. Well, good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. Uh, wow, that was crazy. So Bitcoin just started off the day mining its own business and then um we just had this press conference by uh uh chairman powell about uh the economy and he pretty much uh it was not pretty <laughs> it started off slightly positive and then it went pretty downhill um with quotes like um get ready for some pain and stuff like that. So uh, Bitcoin's reacting to that. So we we had this this kind of beautiful setup. We were ready to break through this um, resistance right here. And we've been thrown down pretty hard. So uh, again, this is something where we've got to watch and see where this closes since there's still eight hours left, but um, it's not looking pretty. So we're going to kind of have to see what, what happens from here. If I switch over to a five minute chart, you can actually see the uh, insanity of, of his speech and how it ended up <laughs> impacting the market. Um, we've kindly, we found a temporary uh, spot here on the five minute, but you know, there's, there's a lot of emotions going on and it's definitely impacted the rest of the market by a lot so um i kind of feel like uh this was a this was a tweet that i saw this morning that subs it up pretty well <laughs> well that's all for today hope i triple triggered all your stops <laughs> and that's exactly what happened we got a super volatile day because of that yeah, so I wanted to show you guys the correlation that we're showing. So what we're looking at here is um, Bitcoin's on top, Ethereum's on top, or in the middle, and then um, the S&P 500 is on the bottom. And you can see how, so we're on the five minute chart. So these are all the same time frame. Everything's lined up. And you can see that 
the price action is is almost a perfect mirror of of each other. The trends are doing the exact same thing. So um, as much as we want to pretend like Bitcoin is its own thing and it, it's unrelated to any other parts of uh, the economy and that it's sort of a hedge against everything, <laughs> it's just really attached to um, sentiment and global forces uh, it used to be that, that Bitcoin was quite a lot more independent, but as Bitcoin becomes more sophisticated and larger institutions and governments and companies are trading Bitcoin, uh, they're treating it like a, uh, a risky tech stock and they're, they're kind of, it really follows very strongly with um, the, uh, the stock market and other things. So it's not this this perfect utopia of uh, independent thought and independence <laughs> it, over time it will slowly um, gain strength just because it's limited um, there's only 21 Bitcoin and, and Ethereum's making moves to limit what's happening so there are changes but um, for the time being when there's a when there's a large shock to the economy bitcoin and ethereum are going to follow and then it brings the rest of the market with it so we don't live in a little bubble but um we just need to be aware that uh, there are forces outside of uh just the little crypto sphere that we live in uh, that can impact price so we are just hanging on for for dear life and rolling with it you know you can't force a chart you have to let it play out you have to let the trends do their thing so um, we are just waiting for closes and then making decisions and moving forward so uh, ethereum's in the same boat everything's doing kind of the same thing um, so the head and shoulders is closer to play uh, that we that uh, somebody pointed out yesterday once we get down to the bottom of the shoulder we just need a break and then it's official but uh, right now we are above the 50 so I don't know will the 50 hold I'm not sure we have to wait for the close and see how uh, what happens next but yeah we are definitely changing momentum you know we have a lower a lower high in and if we start with a lower low, um, we will most likely be looking at a trend downwards. But uh, if we stay above the 50, then we will not get our lower low and we'll see how things play out. So um, with Ethereum and the merge and all of that stuff, there's, there's some emotionality here as well. So we're uh, definitely kind of playing things by ear. So the rest of the market, is just red as can be um, when uh, when Bitcoin and Ethereum are both significantly red it's hard for anything to be green um, you know again we're we're pretty far from close but um, we had a fair number of of coins move out of the yellow and red zone and so they were they were uh, temporarily you know moving out of that of that range um, but now almost everything's back in because of uh, the drop today. So um, we will be uh, kind of following up and everything um, later. So um, the only one that's green is Chili's because it's on a tear and we're waiting for uh, the euphoria for that. And right now there's no great shorting options. Uh, it's not it's not smart to uh, jump on the bandwagon on a on a down day, so we're going to be patient and uh, make make a, a decision that we that we can when we've got the the information and uh, things are kind of lined up. So today we're just kind of hanging on and waiting to see what happens next. <laughs> Thanks for making it to the end of my video. Uh, make sure you keep those trades small. Uh, don't force a trade, don't get impatient, 
And uh, if you wanna see how all this works, please come over and check me out on the subscription channel at cryptoinfluencers.com. Again, the link is in the description.